What's going on everybody? Jake Dalton here with Cage Muscle Supplements. Gonna take you guys through a workout today. It's gonna be pretty fun. Uh, I enjoy this kind of stuff because it's a lot different than what normally uh, people do or what you normally see in the gym. It's gonna be kind of a high intensity circuit. It's gonna be a lot of body weight stuff, um, some resistance training, a lot of just uh, mobility and uh, agility stuff. So it's gonna be super cool. Um, probably, like I said, different than what you guys normally see, but uh, I was an Olympic gymnast. That's kind of what I enjoy, what I like to do. So I'm uh, gonna take you guys through that today. It's gonna be fun and I'll, I'll kind of give you guys some uh, explanations on some progressions you can do so it's some of the things I'm doing you may not be able to do some things I'll be able to give you ideas on how to get there so I got my pre-cage going right now I'm ready to go and uh, ready to roll I had my aminos this earlier today the amino synergy that synergy the new uh, supplement that they have it is awesome I highly recommend it, it tastes really good and it's uh, just gonna be great for you so uh, let's get into it So these are muscle ups. These were, uh, they're, they're obviously gonna be a little difficult if you don't know how to do them. There's gonna be some progressions that you guys can do for them in terms of just strict pull ups on rings. There's gonna be dips on rings, support holds on rings, and then that transition drill. So for example, you could just do pull ups and dips to kind of make those a progression for your muscle ups. But obviously since I can do a muscle up, I started with those. If you guys obviously can't do the handstand push-ups, just put your feet elevated on a mat or a block or something like that where it's rotating your hips above your shoulders and that way you can do your push-ups, handstand push-ups that way where they're just a little elevated, you're not in a full handstand position. And the stronger you get at those, you can raise your feet on the blocks. Raise those blocks higher so your feet and your hips are more over your shoulders than they were in the beginning. So I basically just swing the kettlebell to right about ears, uh, ears length or ears height on me and uh, swing it back down. So that one's pretty easy for you guys to do. I don't think you'll need any progressions for that. So the next exercise is gonna be just overhead crest. And uh, this is actually fairly heavy weight for me because I'm just not used to doing this all the time. I am incorporating this into the Olympic lifting uh, workouts that I'm doing. And uh, normally if I'm doing higher rep, I'll go lower weight. But today I felt like going a little bit heavier. So, you know, it's not super heavy, just 135, but basically just take that barbell, watch your face and get into a good overhead press position and launch it up. What I try to finish, I try to finish in a nice straight line so my arms are in line with my whole body just like in gymnastics you want that straight straight body, straight line so you'd almost be in a handstand and uh, that's basically what I did for the overhead press. Fairly hard, fairly difficult um, and just try and rep it out.
So the next exercise is gonna be what we call a straight body pulls. That's what I call it. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else has a term for it. You're gonna do a strict hang from the rings and basically pull yourself through that front lever position to a vertical hang. It's gonna be extremely difficult. It's, uh, you know, it's fairly hard for us who are, are gymnasts and do this all the time. So um, doing a couple reps of this is, is fairly hard. It's gonna engage your core, your lats, even your legs. You're gonna feel your legs when you're pulling it up. So something I uh, suggest for a progression is bending your legs you know, into kind of a tuck position and trying to almost round up into that vertical hang and then extend. And just do that until you can build the strength. You could also bend one leg and extend the other leg and that makes it a little bit harder until you can do it into that strict full body straight position. For the last exercise, I did basically a hollow hold on a BOSU ball, which is just kind of like a medicine ball or whatever, exercise ball kind of cut in half with plastic on the bottom. And uh, this is, it, it may seem very simple, very easy to do. It's actually very difficult, especially for someone like me who does not train core as much as I should. And uh, so basically you sit in a hollow position, which is a position you use in gymnastics all the time. Um, so you basically sit there, I want your arms above your head to make it more difficult. And it's also a big balancing position. So you're basically gonna get in this position. You're gonna hold it. I try to do 30 seconds to a minute. If you can get there, that's great. But just do what you can do to start with and repeat that a few times because it's gonna be a very difficult position. You're gonna feel it in your quads, in your legs. You're gonna feel it in your core and you're gonna start shaking, I guarantee it. It's very difficult, so just try it. I promise you it's a lot harder than it looks. We just finished up that workout. It was a pretty good one. I enjoy those kind of workouts just because it's similar to the gymnastics uh, circuits that I used to do. So uh, I'm actually uh, about to take some isolate. I have some, some re-cage, but I enjoy the isolate. I just, in terms of the sweet flavor after a workout, I'm gonna go with that. So that's pretty much it. That's gonna wrap up the workout and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast doing this. So uh, we're gonna bring some more content to you guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys, like I said, enjoy it. Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, big shout out to Cage Muscle. Thank you guys so much for letting me be an athlete. Uh, I, like I said, I, I stand by their products 100% and uh, what I put in my body is something that I'm very concerned about. So I, that's why I picked Cage Muscle. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. We'll see you guys in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.